1971 Ford Escort. As you can see, this is a two door in white with the sticker pack. The, uh, the brace is Sibby's on the front. It's been done as a bit of a road rally car. It does have a uh, ZTEC engine in it on a lovely set of carbs. If you check the description, we'll detail all the spec, um, gearbox, diff, all that sort of stuff. But it is, um, I believe, and we'll double check and confirm in the description, uh, a brand new ZTEC. It's not been done from a donor. It is a new, new engine. Got your RS wheels on there, badge set, all that sort of stuff. But like I say, check the description. We'll detail the full spec of the car in there. Somebody spent an absolute fortune and some proper amount of time on this thing. But we'll start by having a look at the bodywork and we'll do the interior, then we'll get it fired up. Looking down this driver's side, you can see it is nice and straight all the way down. All your panel gaps are nice. On the doors, gaps across the front of the scuttle there are good. This front driver's wing, there's no sign of any corrosion coming through that front arch. The lip's nice and sharp all the way around. You can see in there, really nice and clean and tidy in there. Wheels are in lovely condition. There's a tiny little bit of pitting on the, on the barrel if we're being really, really picky. And a tiny little bit of paint flake on the barge, but again, that's me being particularly harsh. Uh, and we've got four good matching tires on there. Loads of tread left on those. I believe, yeah, so they're the Nankang um na1s quite a good tire for the car to be fair nice and clean behind this bumper sticker packs all nice and straight there's no uh peeling or fading on that we've got one little stone chip here that's been touched in but other than that there's no real marks to report on that front wing down the bottom here is all nice and tidy get the camera right down under there you can see all clean under there if we go further underneath Little bit of road grind, but other than that, very, very good. It doesn't look like you've seen a lot of wet roads or certainly never seen any rally stages by the looks of things. Lovely and tidy on the driver's door and lower down all the way along. Again, nice and clean. All the glass is stamped up. No sign of any ingrained scratching. All the seals look to be fresh, not dried out or cracked or anything like that. Along this leading edge, along the bottom of the windscreen. There's no sign of any corrosion. Quite often you can get a bit of corrosion popping around on here, but... That one's nice and tidy. Same with inside the gutter up the A-pillar and along the top of the front of the roof. Roof itself, it's nice and straight. No ripples or dents in that. Continuing our way down the driver's side of the rear arch. Again, you can quite often get a bit of corrosion coming through here from stone chips. It sort of starts off, but you can see this one clean and tidy. The arch is sharp all the way around. You can get your hand right in behind the lip. It's very solid. There's no sign of any flaking or anything in there. Another good wheel and tire. Have another look back up the car from here again. Like I say, really nice and straight. It's not wavy or full of filler. Round onto the back, rear bumper sits nice and straight. Clean and tidy on the chrome work. And even round the lights. Normally these are really pitted, but these ones are quite good. And the seals that it sits on as well. All the rear lights are clear and bright. There's no cracks or anything in those. Underneath the bumper, again, nice and tidy. You can have a look at the boot floor from there as well. Well, uh, we've got a proper look under there. Really, really good under there, as you can see. Up onto the top of the boot lid, we've got one little mark I did just see somewhere. Oh, here. Little mark in the paint there. Um, but to be fair, it looks like a good polish on the boot lid would be good. It's got a little bit of orange peel in there. It would remove quite easily with a good polish. Both seams, where it comes down from the uh, rear screen, are good. And the seal around that screen, there's no sign of any corrosion popping through or anything like that. Nice and clear on the glass as well. Round onto the passenger side, again, nice and straight all the way up. Not full of ripples or dents. There's rear valance at the bottom, nice and tidy again. Got one little stone chip down the bottom there, and another one just here. Arch itself is sharp all the way around. You can see inside there, lovely and clean. Another good wheel and tyre. All the seals around the glass on this side are good, and the glass is nice and tidy. Have another look at the roof from up here as well. No sign of any corrosion coming through on that gutter rail. Pop the camera underneath and have a good look at the sill from here. Apart from a bit of road grime again. Really nice and tidy under there. Definitely nothing to whinge about there. Lower half 
of this side of the car again all nice and tidy no marks to note on the passenger door arguably there's one small stone chip just on the bottom there again we are being really picky with that and then on the front wing nice and sharp especially behind where the mud flaps mount You've got to get your hand right behind there check there's no trap dirt causing any corrosion all good all the way around nice and clean inside that arch the same as the other side another good wheel and tire along this side of the windscreen again this area all nice and tidy makes for a boring video for it but it does make for a very nice car those bumper corners on both sides nice and straight nice and shiny both seams down there are all good a little bit of a squash fly on that one but we'll include that for free and then nice and tidy across the center section there's no stone chips or anything like that but underneath from there all good like i say four sibbies on there with the covers bonnet does have pins fitted to it um, but they are nice ones they're fitted properly they're nice and tight and that sticker pack on the bonnet again all nice and straight no stone chips or marks to know moving on to the interior keeping up with the rally theme we've got a safety devices cage uh, dash dodger one so it hasn't cut the dash we've got a set of motor mech evo one seats nice comfy seats as well to be fair they're not too too small not too tight it does have a set of mats down but underneath you can see floor's all good under there original dials but it's got a race tech rev gauge obviously to go with that uh, Z Tech engine it shows 54,000 miles if you check the description we'll detail everything we know about where it's been and that sort of stuff all nice and clean down the center and then you've got some race tech gauges in the middle there amps uh water temperature and pressure got an isolator switch as well the rear seats the original rear seats are still in there so you've got the cage going around them and the what looks to be original headlining is still nice as well doors shut really well on this one as well you don't have to braid them shut have a look inside the boot underside of the boot lid all nice and tidy around the hinges are good you've got the race filler there for your fuel tank 50 litre, 50 litre tank with a uh, level visible there twin fuel pumps and an inline filter as well got a full size spare and what i'm assuming is yeah battery box Okay, really nice and clean, it's been painted to match the car. Inside the boot, no sign of any corrosion coming through, really nice job in there. Very, very clean and tidy. And then into the passenger side, nice and clean on that door card. Another Motor Mech Evo 1 seat, they've got TRS harnesses, they're matching seats, matching harnesses. Got your fire extinguisher and your footrest down here. Again, standard dash, not been messed with for the uh the roll cage or anything like that and then under the bonnet we'll just uh sorry we'll get some dodgy camera work I'll prop this bonnet up like i say z-tech engine nice set of twin weber carbs on there we'll detail all the spec and everything on it uh, oil catch car with the breathers and everything Lovely and clean on those inner wings. Really nice and tidy. It's been parked here a little while. Not dropping any fluid on the floor. We'll uh, we'll get it fired up. It was driven to us. It's been used sparingly but regularly. Open it to an isolator on. That would help, wouldn't it? Isolator on for your fuel pumps and things like that. And then on the key. Take it over away, nice and happy. Nothing nasty flying out the back. We'll give it a little rev. I'm not going to bounce it off the limit because it is cold. Those oh, Z-Techs really do make a great noise on carbs as well. So there you go. Two-door Escort, Z-Tech conversion. Done really well. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. If you check the description, we'll detail all the spec and everything in there. If you want to come and have a look at the car, it's here with us. Just let us know, we'll book you in. If you can't get up to see it, Again, let us know, we can do video calls, we can send you photos, we can send you videos, whatever you might need. Thank you.